Hello there everybody, how's it going? Tremosphere here with a, uh, a new first ride for you. Today we're going to be riding the Ducati Scrambler 400. I'm quite excited about this, it's not really my type of bike but it looks pretty wicked seeing it in person, not going to lie. The dash is the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life, I kid you not. Look at that, what is that? That is mint. So let's get on it and get going. Oh my god. These bars are so wide. Right, so, uh, oh my god, this is so weird. The seat is so thin. So I've uh, got my trusty tank bag there. Oh my god, this is so weird. <laughs> Honestly, the mirrors are amazing straight off because I remember when I did the, uh, the review on the SV650, they were terrible and they are great on this. They're just round. You can see for a mile on them though, really good. Oh. The guy was saying to me that there's not a lot of difference between this and the uh, and the 900. It's so weird. Oh my god, it's really cool. Right, at the traffic lights turn right. That's what we're going to do. So this is the first Ducati I've ever ridden in my life. And I'm going the wrong way, great. Oh my god. Well, this is a good way to test the turning circle on this bike. Holy crap, that's really good. <laughs> the turning circle is ridiculous. I can imagine this is one of these bikes where you don't need to have a lot of power to have fun. Still got a bit of something, not maybe not as much as the SV650, but it's still, uh, still got a bit of give. I don't like that cable there though, I think that looks really messy. That's just me though. Um, so what's the clutch like? The clutch isn't as snatchy as the SV650 was. The SV650 was literally out a little bit and that was you. This thing's more like my Honda. It's near the, near the edge of your clutch. Like, as you're about to run out of clutch, that's when it bites. Uh, so it's very similar like that. So as I'm aware, this is a 400cc twin. Um, the Scrambler is really an all-round kind of bike. Like, you could do a bit of off-roading with it. It's for around town. It's for going out on a weekend and exploring more than going for a sporty ride um, it's kind of cool I like it a lot I can see why um, people would want one they're a lot of money though but stock exhaust sounds pretty terrible but what do you expect oh my god it's so easy it's so easy to ride the only thing that's a bit worrying is the seat kind of because it's so thin my ass kind of slips about a little bit uh, maybe that's because I've got leather pants on Leather! It's my fetish. <gasps> so, this is a great example for town riding. Um, and for town riding, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty good. The, the bars make it very agile. Like, oh my god! It's so light! The bars just make this thing a dream to move. Literally, watch. One finger. One finger and I can move the bar. Oh, it's ridiculous. Ridiculously agile, honestly. Um, it's got, I don't know how fast it'll go, I reckon this thing might peak about 100, maybe 110. Um, so for top speed, it's not really meant for that though, obviously, but I reckon you could get that out of it. Um, for comfort, I'll tell you guys a bit more as I go, but as for riding, I'm pretty comfy. The upright bars are pretty chill. And, you know, it's just nice. It really is. Um, like I said, the mirrors are fantastic. The speedometer is amazing. I'm a big, big fan of it. Um, I believe the XRS Yamaha, I've probably got that wrong, uh, 900, has a very similar dashboard system. Um, and I've always thought it was pretty cool. Uh, and a bit of dual carriageway for us. <laughs> and we're off, boys! It's got a bit of go for an A2 bike, considering you can get this in the 900, which has got a bit more poke. Um, apparently the 400 is smoother to ride. I can, at the minute, relate to that because there is hardly any vibration. Hello there. There's hardly any vibration at all, so that's awesome. Um, but it's an A2 bike, you don't even need to restrict this. I believe it's 47 brake horsepower. Um, it's just mint. It's really wicked. 
I didn't think I'd be like this with it. I, think, I thought I'd be like, oh, it's a proper old man's bike. But no, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I suppose it all depends on what kind of bike you're after. Because this thing, I don't know, it's like, if you want to go on an adventure, this is the bike for you. I wouldn't say, I don't know how it would cope with long distance. Maybe the 900 is a bit better for that. But, like, I wouldn't want to be on a motorway all day on this thing, that's for sure. But if I was going on little roads like this all day, happy days. So it's, like I say, I've never ridden a bike with Brembo's. Obviously, I've ridden that SV that had ABS. Um, and I've got to say, like, I haven't really had a chance to test out the Brembo's yet. Oh, yes, they're pretty good, actually. Uh, because the suspension is quite soft, you don't, when you have to brake hard, it doesn't affect the rider, really. It's just kind of like, yeah. It doesn't really affect you. The suspension kind of sorts it all out for you, which is nice. Then you've got the ABS on top of that, which is stopping your back end skidding out. So, in all in all, you're pretty much set for an emergency stop or, you know, you are never going to have uncomfortable braking on this bike, let me just put it like that. It's all there in front of me. Have I got a fuel gauge? Uh, it's kind of hard. The only criticism I have about the dashboard is it's kind of hard to recognise what is your fuel gauge. I presume it's the one with the bars that aren't going anywhere because it's just been filled up, so we're going to go with that. They're uh, just below your uh, RPMs. CBR 600 in green and black. Right, well, this is where I'm going to do the uh, the walk around because it looks pretty awesome. We're in a pretty cool area here. Look, right over all that as well. Look at that shit. Yeah, look at that shit as well. <clears throat> awesome. Right, let's do a little walk around before the rain really ruins my day. And uh, I think we're good then. So where's the kickstand? Is it on the other side? Because it's, you know, Italians like to do that stuff, don't they? Where is it? Is that it? Are you serious? Oh my god, that is a weird kickstand. Oh, don't drop it, please. It's worth a lot of money. Oh, right, here we are. The Kite Scrambler 400 2016 plate. Details are going up on the screen now. And let's go through some stuff. So it's got four stars, which means it's fantastic. Um, brakes, not on both. Not got two discs on either side. Brembo brakes on the back and front. Ducati logo on the seat. There's not really a lot I can go through, if I'm honest with you guys, um, because it's such a simple bike. Indicators are a bit flimsy. Not really a fan. The levers are cool. It's nice that they're black and match everything and they, you know, they haven't skipped out on anything. Uh, like I say, Brembo brakes on the front. Again, that really needs a tail tidy or something of the sort because, Jesus, that is ugly. Uh, and aside from that, it's very basic. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, the Ducati Scrambler 400. been raining so badly but I'm just gonna say quickly oh all right bud oh. so I'm absolutely soaked but I'm just gonna say uh, it is a good bike um, personally I think you're better off just getting the 900 instead of the 4 um, and just restricting it or whatever I think the 400 is kind of pointless apart from that it's a great bike it rides well personally I still prefer the SV650 2016 model I'm just going to stick with my gut on that one, but now I'm going to ride home in the pissing wet rain. So, um, yeah, I'll go hand the bike back and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching the first ride. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later.